What's up guys? It is Lexi from Dope Christian TV for sisters whose main mission is to be a light in this dark world. Welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you are a subscriber, welcome back. Make sure you hit that like button guys because it helps our video get out in the YouTube world. It helps the YouTube algorithm so that we can spread the message of the gospel. Okay guys, so this is something new that we're doing. We did this before, but we were doing it on Facebook, but we brought it back. This is our new segment called Milk to Meat. The Holy Spirit gave this to me and what it essentially is, is there's a scripture that says that we should crave the pure milk of the word. As we grow in our faith, just like a baby goes from milk to taking more solid foods, the Bible gives us this beautiful picture of us, how we should be. So we should be desiring the word of God like milk and then growing in our faith to be able to take in more solid food, the more mature things of the word. So essentially when you first get saved, right? Like you are a baby, you are new in Christ. And so some things you don't fully understand yet. And so you only take in a little bit at a time, but as you grow the expectation is that we are all growing in the word of God and becoming more spiritually mature and more spiritually disciplined. So the purpose of this segment is to help us all spiritually mature, not just you guys, but us too. You know, we're all in this walk together. And so we're going to be coming to you prayerfully once a week with just a word, whatever the Holy Spirit is telling us to speak. That's what we're going to do. Without further ado, let's get into this video. It's really funny because I was going to talk about something totally different, but I was like, Lord, what do you want me to say today? And what came into my spirit was don't get distracted, y'all. This is for me too. That was the first thing I heard. I'm like, okay, don't get distracted. We're in the second week of the year so far, if you're watching this, when this first comes out and it's easy to fall off. Okay, fall off. A lot of people set resolutions at the beginning of the year, which I don't do that. But you know, we start off strong at the beginning of the year and then we forget why we said we were gonna do what we wanted to do. This message is mainly to say, don't get distracted from what God has told you to do, the vision that God has put in your spirit, getting distracted from your relationship with God. That was me last year. Letting life come in, relationships come in, your mind, letting your thoughts take you away from God, you know, putting our thoughts above the thoughts of God. Don't get distracted. And the scripture that first came to me was Philippians chapter three. I'm going to read it in two different versions. It says, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Now I'm going to read to you another version, which is the Passion Translation version. It says, I don't depend on my own strength to accomplish this. However, I do have one compelling focus. I forget all of the past as I fasten my heart to the future instead. I run straight for the divine invitation of reaching the heavenly goal and gaining the victorious prize through the anointing of Jesus. So let all who are fully mature have this same passion. And if anyone is not yet gripped by these desires, God will reveal it to them. And let us all advance together to reach this victory prize following one path with passion. Don't get distracted, stay on the path. It says that we should all have this same path and passion, which ultimately is to get to the end, right? Because Jesus is coming back, y'all. Y'all do know that, right? So ultimately is to get to the end when the glory of the Lord will be revealed to us. And our mission here, while we wait, is to spread the word of the Lord, grow closer to the Lord. We are instruments of his glory being revealed in the earth, right? And so if I'm distracted, how can I be used to my full potential if my mind is on the cares of this world if my mind is on worry how can i fully be used if i'm not fully yielded and submitted and surrendered to the word and the will of the father how do i stay on the path one constant and daily communication with the lord seeking the lord through the reading the word of god um, on a daily basis praying the will of god that was really what i was going to talk about
Us getting to a place of total surrender to God because that's really, you know, the issue is that we're not fully submitted to God. We allow what we want to do to supersede what God's will is for us because his will requires sacrifice and obedience and sometimes that hurts. So sometimes um, it, it, it's a no, you know, it's a not yet. It's a take a left here instead of the right that you were about to take. And that takes a lot of discipline and obedience. Don't get distracted. Keep the core be aware of when you're getting distracted. You know, like sometimes you'll be doing something, you realize you start daydreaming and you're like, wow, I just totally got distracted. But it happens very subtly. And this is just to warn you because we are at the beginning of the year and I want to help you to be mindful of this as we go throughout this year. 2022 is going to be a big year for us. Even myself, like I was finding myself like last week was just so busy for me. Like, oh my God. Like I barely looked at my phone because I was just so busy, but it's like, make sure you're being busy with the right things, being busy with the things of God, but don't let anything get in the way of you being in the presence of God, spending time sitting and listening and letting him direct your paths, not being conformed to this world. That's a whole nother thing. Social media, everybody knows that I don't be on there like that unless it's absolutely necessary, but not being consumed with the things of this world. The Bible says, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed formed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that perfect and acceptable will of God. So just making sure that you're staying focused, you're staying on task, you're keeping God first, keeping him only, and then also listening, listening to what he has to say, being aware of what it is that he wants you to do. So brothers and sisters, I charge you to stay focused this week, stay focused this year, do what you have to do to eliminate distractions. Sometimes you might have to just eliminate distractions distractions totally. You may have to remove your social media for a minute. You know, think about it. How much time of your day is consumed by it? how much percent of your day does God get and how much are you consumed by the things of this world? And I'm sorry, but social media is of this world. Yes, it can be used to glorify God. Yes, absolutely. But a lot of it on there is pushing the agenda of this world. We light squad people, we are in this world, but we are not of the world. We should not be looking like the world. We should not be talking like the world. All of that is a distraction okay and a lot of us myself included we can get easily distracted by the things of the world the cares of the world yes coronavirus is out here don't let it distract you plead the blood of Jesus don't get distracted don't let what you see get you off your square stay focused get disciplined work on getting disciplined this year I know for me I'm working on being disciplined in my emotions because sometimes I'm gonna keep it real I'm an emotional person I'm a feeler so sometimes I get thrown off my square because of my emotion. Work on what you need to work on. Allow the Holy Spirit to come in and do the work. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, um, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you're doing, what you need to focus on in this season. All right. Well, enjoy and stay blessed and stay lit. Bye, guys. Thank you.